when a drug world kingpin bought a gun to kill a gang rival, he thought he had little chance of getting caught. Prominent man, Frankie St. Clair, from Cardiff, had long been suspected of being involved in drug trafficking, assaults, violence, vehicle thefts and handling stolen goods. Police officers in South Wales admitted they were hitting a brick wall trying to bring him to justice, but St. Clair was finally nabbed when Metropolitan Police hacked the secret phone network, EncroChat, which brought down a lot of big criminals. The criminal had used it to buy a 3000 Wolver PPK handgun from middleman Paul Fontaine of North London to kill a gang rival. The Encro chat phones guarantee anonymity to users who paid 900 for the device plus a 6 month subscription of £1,350. About 60,000 people were signed up, 10,000 of those in the UK, when the France-based service was shut down in 2020. While they look like any other smartphone, they in fact have a hidden operating system allowing criminals to trade drugs and guns undetected. St. Clair already had 43 convictions for 95 offences, but at the time he was still managing to evade officers. Frankie St. Clair was just creeping into almost everything we were doing in the intelligence world, drug trafficking, assault, a bit of violence, motor vehicle thefts and handling. He said he, he was always there or thereabouts, but not named, not that we had the evidence against him. He was what I called Frankie the facilitator. If there was something going on, Frankie St. Clair knew about it. He described him as someone children looked up to, adding he's got fast cars, plenty of them. He's got the gear, he's got the clothing, he's got the watch and girlfriends. He is what the television would tell you everything a person involved in organised criminality would be. It was after an attack on the home of St. Clair's mother in the Tramorfa area of Cardiff in March 2020 that police started looking more closely at him. We had intelligence from an unreliable source that suggested that the house had been shot at Detective Sergeant Williams said, but St. Clair claimed to be unaware of anything happening at all during the attack before the COVID lockdown. We asked them both for statements to corroborate what happened, but they both denied that Frankie's house had been shot at, Detective Sergeant Williams explained. It was never reported to police, no one in the street confirmed it actually happened. We asked them both for statements to corroborate what happened. They both categorically denied that Frankie's house had been shot at. He said residents on the East Cardiff Street had said that they did not know if they had heard a car backfiring or a gunshot. From an investigative point of view, we were hitting a brick wall. Then Detective Sergeant Williams added, but their plot was uncovered after the Metropolitan Police gained access to messages on EncroChat. Following a criminal trial, St. Clair, 34 at the time, and Paul Fontaine, 36, were found guilty of conspiracy to murder, along with a string of other offences at the Old Bailey in London on the 14th of March 2022. Judge John Hillen said the plot had arisen from an ongoing dispute over who was going to dominate the drug dealing in Cardiff and jailed the two men for life with a minimum 18 years. Prosecutor Kevin Dent told jurors during the trial that Frankie St. Clair wanted to help Mr. Fontaine to buy in a firearm and ammunition so that Mr. St. Clair could carry out a revenge murder. After years of trying to catch him, Detective Sergeant Williams admitted that celebrations followed St. Clair's guilty conviction. 
We did have a small party in the office, she said. I'd been chasing Frankie St. Clair for almost five years. Please like this video, please don't forget to comment, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.